hey everyone so in the last video we learned about the sieves algorithm so this algorithm basically created an array from a range of 1 to n and for every number which is prime the prime of that number i would be true if it is not prime then prime of i would be false okay so we can use the same algorithm like here to actually do factorization of a number so how we will do we factorize the number is let's say we create a array temp or let's say a vector temp and inside that temp we let, let's say we need to find out the factor of a number n right so we'll start the for loop from i equals to 2 and then we'll go up till n and i plus plus and if the ith element is prime then we will put the number in this temp right so what this does is so if the number is so basically temp is an array storing all the primes up till n right so temp will con let's say if n is 10 so temp temp will be consisting of 2 3 5 7 so this will be what temp is having right so this is the basic idea behind this so we modify c a bit to actually give us a array of all the primes up till that range okay so after we have the the prime array what we do is we initialize our i to 0 and then we'll pick the first prime the first prime will be the 0th element which is 2 let's say in this case so now p will be containing 2 okay now we'll check if p multiply by p is less than or equal to n so n is 10 here so 2 into 2 is less than or equal to 10 well this is correct so in that case we will see if n modulus of p is equals to 0 this means if that particular number p is a factor of m factor of n so 10 modulus of 2 is equals to 0 so we'll again go inside this loop and we'll create an vector here to store all the factors right so after we go inside this loop we will push this number inside this factor so basically 2 is a factor of 10 right so we pushed it and now we'll check so we will we'll shorten this number so we will remove all the factor like all the multiple of 2 from this number so what this does is so it does makes 10 equals to 10 divided by 2 which is 5 so it makes n equals to 5 right so basically we are removing all the factors of 2 from that number and after that we make i plus plus that means now we move we pick the number p as prime of i again now i will be 1 here so the one element is 3 right so it will go again here it will check if 3 multiplied by 3 is less than or equal to n well that's true so it will come down here it will check if modulus is true well it is not true so in that case well the modulus operator is not true because 10 so n is now 5 so 5 modulus of 3 is not equal to sorry not equal to 0 so it will not run then it will go to this this part here it will go to this part here it will increment i as 2 prime p will be 5 right prime p will be 5 but now this loop won't run 5 into 5 is less than or equal to n it is not so we'll come out of this while loop and after while loop we'll check if n is not equal to 1 so in this, that case we will put factors dot push back n that means that the n which was 5 is itself a prime so push that back so basically if n is not equal to 1 right now at this stage we will push back n inside it and we will return factors 
so I, I hope this was clear I also dry run this code on the side I'll, I'll make a coding implementation part also after this explanation video I'll move to the coding part I'll code this C algorithm for you so that if you want to copy the code you can do so but the algorithm is pretty straightforward we get a temporary array that contains oh sorry I made a mistake here it is not prime it is temp i okay I'll explain again we go from i equals to 0 we store the first prime number which is 2 so 2 5 2 3 5 and then what was that 7 we store that then we check this condition if the particular prime number is a factor then we add that to the factors array we remove that all the multiple of that number from this number n after we do that we move to the next prime number after we have checked for every prime number which is satisfying this condition we come back down here we push the remaining number if it is not equal to 1 so that's the problem moving to the coding part I'll be showing, showing in the implementation of coding now hey everyone so this is the coding part so basically in the last video we write down this, we wrote down this code for the C algorithm what this does is um, I'll explain it once again so this is a basically number n that would that we, that we need to find the factors of like factors up to the range is 1 to n and is this number we find we create a boolean array to store all the prime number after we store the prime number we actually set all the prime array num values to true after that we this is the basic loop of c algorithm I'll, I'll not go into this again so basically if you need the help you can just check the last video that was on the c algorithm i explained this there after that um, here i used to output this right instead of outputting out outputting i'll create a vector with ll um, let's name it temp and I'll just store temp dot pushback i right so this would basically store all the prime numbers up till n this vector right so now we if we need to find a factor of 10 let's say so I took m as 10 I'll also create a new vector named factors um, after that I'll start from 0 I'll get the first prime right like I said I'll get the first prime and while p is less than equal to m if m modulus of p is equal to 0 that means if p is a factor of m then in that case we push this back in factors and while m is still like p is still a factor we divide by p after we have divided we move up a step and then we get the next prime number and at last like i said in the algorithm if m is not equal to 1 right now then we push that back inside the factors array so this is the basic stuff so this is the basic algorithm um, let me output also at last so that you can see the factors now i guess this method would work this is long long now yeah this should work i don't know why it is giving an error Let's see if it works. Yeah, it works. So let me run it. Two and five. So for 10, it gives you the factor. I'll, I'll make it bigger so that you can see. If I change it to 20, I'll run it again. One second. 20 has also the prime factors are 2 and 5 it's just that 2 is um, multiplied twice there so this loop 
would take care of that twice multiplication that means that first the p this p element would be 2 it will check if that is a factor m is 20 so in that case it will push 20 like it will push 2 and then it will divide m by 2 then it, it will get 10 which is which still has 2 as a factor then it will divide it again then m will become 5 and the rest of the loop is similar to the uh, to the case when m was 10 actually so basically this loop actually removes all the multiplication of the that particular factor right so a prime factor can be multiplied any number of times inside a number like so this basically takes care of that so this was the coding part um, you can copy the code if you want but that's it so see in the next one